Quick chemistry tip from ChemHelp ASAP. Today's tip is about gases, ideal gases, and we're going to compare temperature and speed. So these are often also called the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, so you may have heard them called this as well. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on with temperature and speed. So here I've got uh, different samples of argon gas, so it's the same gas, and I'm just changing the temperature, and I'm seeing how the distribution of speeds changes as I change temperature. So it's very clear that as temperature increases, your speed of your gas particles also increase. We know this from our kinetic molecular theory of gases. But what's interesting is notice the distribution also changes. So at our lower temperature, at our 100 Kelvin, we've got a very narrow distribution for our gas particles. But once we get to 1,000 Kelvin, we've got a very broad um, distribution of our gases. And what this means in terms of practicality or questions is uh, let's drop in like an activation energy here. So let's say our activation energy falls right here, kind of in the middle-ish. And now let's see how uh, our temperature change can affect how many particles will have enough energy to get over that activation energy. So you can see for the 200K, I'm, I'm not getting very many particles with enough energy to get over that activation energy. 500K, I get a lot more particles with enough energy to get over that activation energy. And of course, at 1000K, I get even more particles. So having that distribution spread out means that I can shade more of those curves as well. So it's not just that as temperature increases, your average speed also increases, but having that distribution spread out will also help more particles have enough energy to get over that activation energy barrier. Now, for more help, you can find me at ChemHelpASAP on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and at ChemHelpASAP.com.